okay so now the uh, bisection method we have almost done um, now if you go through the example 5.3 you will find it really easy and understandable after doing all these procedures I'm sure that you will not face any problem in understanding example 5.3 because we have solved one, one uh, more complex example that is 5.4 and this is the termination criteria I have already explained you that how you can find out the approximate error and at which point you have to terminate you have to terminate at ES when you have reached your acceptable error and this acceptable error should be given if it is not given you can assume up to two or three significant figures okay the next method is the false position method this method is again is uh, a numerical method and it's again a pretty simple method as by section and what is the main assumption for example if you see this graph so this is actually actually the root the actual root of this uh, of this function this blue line is the actual graph of the function and this value is the lower bound value of x and this value is the upper bound value of x and this vertical distance this distance is actually the vertical ordinate is actually the value of function at this x u as we have calculated f x u in our previous example and what is this value this is the vertical value of f of uh, x l of the function at x l so what we do we join uh, this point with this point with a straight line and we say that this point where it touches the x-axis is actually the root and now this is the actual root is this one but this is the approximate or uh, you can say that the numerical or the approximate root that we can evaluate by this assumption that we have uh, a straight line between these two points and now we have two triangles if you see there are two triangles one is a smaller triangle and the other one is the vertical triangle at the distance this vertical distance is actually fx u and the horizontal distance between uh, this this x r and x u is actually uh, this total distance is x u this total distance till this point is x u and the distance uh, at this point the horizontal distance at this point the total distance from origin is xl and this total distance of the root from the origin is xr all these distances xu xr and xl they are from the origin so if, if i say how much is the distance between xr and xu it will be xu minus xr okay so this horizontal distance or this side of the triangle is actually xu minus xr and the vertical side is fxu the same way this side of the triangle of the small triangle is actually xr minus xl and this vertical side is fxl so uh, now we have these distances the distance between uh, i mean the the, the uh, the base of the base and perpendicular of the small triangle and the word and the big triangle so we have the base and perpendicular values and we can now use the theorem here the theorem of similar triangles that the uh, if the, if the if the two triangles they have same angle this angle is same then according to this theorem the ratio of their sides should also be equal for example this is the ratio of small our triangle vertical side over the horizontal is equal to fxu over xr minus xu so this is just the ratio of two uh, the ratio of the two for example the vertical fxu divided by xu minus xr fxl divided by xl minus xr so this is the equation and if you simplify this equation for xr so you will get this equation so this is the only difference between bisection method and the false position method that uh, this uh, xr is calculated by this equation and this is the assumption that the relation between the xr uh, xl and xu is a straight line and this is method is also known as regular falsi because it is a latin word and this is uh, some the, the, the name of this method in in latin so it's not the other method it is the same method the false position in English and in Latin it is known as regular falsi and this is the linear interpolation okay 
So I think now we are ready to solve one uh, and the remaining thing for example the concept is the same here which is explained here. For example we have XL and XU and then we will check this function changes its sign and then instead of this XR we will use this XR okay but the other three conditions uh, which we have used for the bisection method in the step 3 these conditions they would remain exactly same as we have used in the uh, false uh, sorry in the uh, bisection method or here so the same conditions will be used in the false position method but only XR will be used by this equation this condition okay and then you can calculate the approximate error and if you have the true value you can also calculate the true error so now let's apply this method in uh, in this uh, sheet here okay so now this is the same table that we have used for uh, uh, this uh, for the bisection method so now I'm going to modify this table or we can you we can make a new table for false position method here so on, on one side let's make a new table for false position method so the first thing what we need we actually have to calculate for example the number of trials we can say the number of trials or here and then I can say how much is XL the same here XL and then XU then I can calculate FXL like as we did before then FXU and then you can calculate XR and then you can calculate FXR and then you can calculate the approximate error Okay, and then you can calculate the true error. So it is almost the same table that we have prepared for uh, the. This is uh, the, the same table that we have prepared for uh, bisection method. Now we are going to use it for uh, the false position method. So it is. Let me write here the false position method here. So. Uh, so I increase the font size like 14 okay next so in the, in the first trial we have uh, XL for example we again use the same example the XL is 12 XU was 16 and FXL I mean instead of writing the same equation we I have it here so why not to copy from here and I just put it here so it is actually the same equation with XL so the same value as we have and then we can calculate f x u again control c control v you can have f x u and now the x r will not be the average we have to use this equation uh, equation here yes this one this equation so the x r should be equal to x u so this is XU minus minus uh, FXU multiplied by XL minus XU and then divided by fxl minus fxu fxl minus fxu okay so let me see if I did any mistake here I hope it, it's fine it seems fine fxu 16 minus um, fxu is v18 okay then s18 minus t18 s18 minus t18 l minus u and then u18 minus v18 so it is fxl okay it seems fine so if i enter so this is the xr and now i can use the same equation uh, which i have used here for fxr here but i should make this cell to w18 because this is not x this is the xr so i just change here 
uh, the equation for fxr. So fxr is actually we have we are using xr here, and this is now we have xr, and we cannot calculate the approximate error, but we can calculate the true error, absolute values. Okay, absolute, and then uh, the true value is fourteen point. 7802 minus XR divided by 14.7802 okay and then I can convert it into the percentage and I need it for two significant digits minimum okay and approximate error I cannot calculate because I don't have the previous value and then you can apply the logic here for example, in the second trial, again the same logic which we have used for which we have used for uh, for the bisection method here. This is the same logic that if fxl multiplied by fxr is less than zero, then it should be equal to this, and xu should be equal to xr. So I can say here if fxl multiplied by fxr is less than 0 and if this value is true then xl should be equal to xl and if it is false it should be equal to xr okay and here again the same way fxl multiplied by fxr if it is greater than 0 and the value is true then fxu should be equal to fxu and if it is wrong it should be equal to fxr so this value okay and then rest is just control c and control v okay and now you can also calculate the approximate error so in the approximate error how you can calculate it should be the absolute value absolute xr current value minus previous value divided by current value and that's all so you can convert it into the percentage here and go for the two significant digits so and you can also calculate the true error here so the true error is now 0.09 percent just see this is the thing which i want to explain you so if we see the uh, these two methods the bisection method and the false position method this is the uh, let me write here the bisection method this is bisection method so we attained like after 10 trial or we after so many trials we reached to this value but here just after two trials we are here and if you increase the number of trials like three or four so you can see after the fourth trial the value the percentage value has been reduced to zero and this value is pretty close to 14.78 and this is the uh, beauty of this method that this method is very fast and it converges very fast and you can get maybe the required solution or after two or three times and this is the whole uh, method itself i hope that you have understood uh, this chapter and i have uh, done all the examples almost all of the examples here and you can understand the difference between this method and fall between the bisection method and the false position method the only difference is that that they have uh, different values of XR here it is average and here it is actually uh, it is an interpolation a linear interpolation by assuming the two uh, similar triangles and now if you go for the example which is shown here in your book I'm sure you can easily understand uh, the example given in your book for the false position method so let's quickly go through that and for example in the um, here this is yeah if how it is derived i explain you the, the using the concept of similar triangles and here it, it is the derivation and this is the example 5.5 the same thing like xl12 and xu16 so fxl will be 6. Point, uh, let me also minimize this one so we can see both together okay here 
So if you see um, here that XL is 12, so XL is 12, and we FXL is 6.06, .06, the same, and XU is 16, and XU is here also uh, XU 16, and this is FXU and the same affects you so if you see here even in the book he is using four significant digits so if you if you use calculator you have to be very accurate in inputting all these values otherwise there are many chances that you will do some mistakes so that is why it is always preferred to use Microsoft Excel or some computer program to solve all these questions okay so how you can calculate XR by using the same equation over there and if you solve you can see here 